Welcome to Lutalus Bego TV. And today I'm being joined by the former Supersport captain, uh, Supersport ambassador now, um, former Bushbucks, Tata Bucks defender, yep. Tabo September. My brother, thank you very much for joining us. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, Trombo. Thank good? you, thank you. Sharp man. Thank you very much. You remember the first time we met? What was it? Because you met my brother before you met me, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was down in, uh, I was doing stuff for kickoff, by the way, uh -huh. in East London. I was there to check out Johnny Amogan. You remember? Oh, Jonathan, yeah. Yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> I was there checking him up. So I watched you guys uh, at yeah. training, I think, uh, 2002. Yeah, it was somewhere there. We both had dreads. It's bad to Alan, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Those days, days, yeah, yeah, we had to let go of things. Yes. We have 12 year olds now and running around, so... Hey, put one. This is Lutanus Bego TV. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notific notification button so that you don't miss any of our exclusive, exciting content. Tata Bucks. Mm. Yes, man. But tell me, what... When do you see that you have the talent to make it at the highest level? I think it's when, it's when you start winning, you know, accolades and you get to, from a region to a province and then you realize actually, if I can be, you know, recognized like this um, by, 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 by people who you think you know football, then you start believing. And when you get your coaches as well, the coaches that you have, um, they give you that you, you, why don't you try out, you know? Or when you see a former teammate of yours playing professionally, oh. and then you start saying, you know what, I, I think I can also make it, you know? And um, yeah, for me, that's, that's what happened. And what, what type of challenges do you, do you, did, did you have to go through to, to get to this level? A lot, a lot. I think I was 16 at some point. Um, scouted by, by Hellenic in Cape Town and um, went back home. I was supposed to go say goodbye, basically. Yeah. So I went back home to get my, my, my stuff. I played a, a friendly game, like last game, back home. And uh, I jumped, landed, my ankle broke. Mm. Uh, that was the end of that dream for Hellenic for me. So it was, so those are those are setbacks that you. I thought that I would never play professionally if I can't get into a, an, an academy. You know, always thought that you have to go through an academy to be to be professional footballer. So that opportunity passed. Uh, but with the how support, did you pick yourself up from that? Because sometimes you get that and players career gone. Support. Support from, from, from friends, from family, especially my parents, you know, they, my, my dad owned the team, so he played before. Oh, and so, Nyana got coach. Nyana was boss, not even coach. <laughs> okay, got coach. Okay, Zam. I, I did, no, I did that me. time, the, the, the coach is also driving you around. Oh, he no. He picks the team. No, oh, that, oh. that one doesn't play Prajay's role. Oh, okay, that one so, is like, Kaysa okay. is like, okay, sure. he's, he owns the team and uh, he has someone who coaches and... Yeah, all he wants to see is good football. Okay, he, just got comes. he doesn't hey, even tabo, get involved hey, in terms hey, of let's selections. Let's try Tabo there, let's try. <laughs> no, yeah, we only right. discuss games when we get home. Um, and um, yeah, he kept on pushing me. And um, when the opportunity came, I, 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 I was at school. That's when I started realizing, because I was, I, was, I was 15 when I started playing for the mm. first team of, 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 of the high school. Yeah. And back then, you know, matric children were and playing, also playing there. in the local team. Then. And I was playing in the local team, yeah. and I was very not popular local team. Back then, we used to yeah. have a, a B C in in a team, yeah. so I went and played straight for A, uh, whereas my my age group was playing for the C team. So you are playing there as a midfielder. Yeah, I was playing as a number ten back then. Number ten. Yeah, back, back, back when I was playing a match of football, I was, I was more of an attacking midfielder. Who are you looking up to that time? That time I was looking up to the likes of Debo Komoloi, um, the ace course that the Dr. Kumalos, and uh, 
you know, when you get the charity cup the, the, the next Saturday, you want to stay in bed and just no, no, watch. But, but, you know, usually, man, you know, mm. it, they don't give me a those, school set, and a Dr. Kumalo. You know, they always, if we alignment is a cousin, but when and then But I was a parrot supporter back then. Oh, okay. Uh, the whole family was was a parrot supporters except my sister who was who was a sundowns. My All big right. sister was a sundowns. We we are going to get there. But Tibos, I, I I want us to to talk about your your parents and. I, I remember we, you and I, we've, we've had discussions, especially when you were, you know, going to start your foundation because, you know, exchanging notes and that stuff. And you mentioned to me that without your parents, you don't know if you would have made it thus far. And one of the things I see, you know, uh, having worked in football is that we don't see a lot of black parents attending games and supporting Abandon. How how much of a factor is this uh, for a footballer, an athlete, uh, just to have your parents there and knowing that they are with you all the way? And so it's a big plus. I think it it keeps you grounded. Um, see, for my injury, like I like I said, when I broke my ankle, it was it was the support that I had around me, and included my my parents. Um, they always made sure that if I wanted boots for, 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 for soccer, then they would make means to get me those boots. Um, they, they, they couldn't come to all their school games, but they, if, if, if they were available, they would come to, 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 to the games. And, and when they are there, it, it was good for me. You know, I felt, I felt good. And when they were not there, I could understand because they're trying their best. We were like, six of us so they had to support six and my dad when he owned his, his, his soccer team he would take kids from as far as um, Sada sure. um, to come and play for his team and they my mom and my dad will house them um, so we had we had brothers extended brothers from from other homes you know it was it was it was um, their heart was just is, is, is big, so they yeah. always wanted to help. Hence, you speak of foundation. It was it was something of that came through them as well. Yeah. Um, the, the the people that they are, and uh, it made me also want to better someone else's life. Because one of the things that you must tell Tetangazo is 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 coexistence. That your home was not only for you guys. Your parents used to bring everyone. Yeah. And whatever that you had, you shared it sure. with everyone. What, is this the approach that you took in your career that sort of elevated you to the kind of leader you are? Yeah, I think I think that that's exactly it. Because um, especially when you play a team sport, if 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 my if I was playing tennis, then my parents were just gonna focus on me to 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 become a better player. And but it's it's a team sport, and uh, you needed to make others also. Um, not have, have too much of a gap in between players, and uh, that that be translate translated it to to life. That for me to get somewhere, uh, even if I get there first, I need to pull up people. But not that people must pull me down. I must also be careful of that. That when I try to reach out for someone, someone mustn't pull me down. Yes. I must help those that want to be helped. And um, my parents gave me that that that. Um, that motto, that mentality of, of helping others, and uh, I hope my son takes it too. It does seem that um, you have a lot of support from your community, because I, I know Gutesh, he pushbacks, you know, month end, there's yeah. rent to be paid, but you had Udok and other people that were supportive to make sure that you are given uh, that support for you to focus on, 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 on your playing career. How, how was the support? How would you sum up your support from, from, from your community? You'll be amazed. Um, when I was at uh, Pushbacks, 
already professional. So um, accommodation, we were hosted by pushbacks at their clubhouse. Um, I complained because the environment there was not conducive for a footballer to stay there. And then when you leave the clubhouse, when you go outside the yard, then there's so much distractions that are happening outside. Yeah. So I wanted some, some place of secluded area where I can go to training, go back home. If I want to train on my own, I can go train. And um, yeah, Dr. Chris Melder yeah. uh, paid for my, um, he's a businessman in Eisner. He paid yeah. for my accommodation. Um, and my sister as well contributed to my accommodation while I was still a professional player. So um, that helped me to, to, to focus on what I had to do. And also to ground you. To ground myself and, 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 and um, be a better person as well because know that um, there's so much people that depend on me, uh, that want me to succeed. And once I, I, I started feeling a little bit of success, um, I wanted to give back. And that's when I started the foundation. Christoph, not from Naisna to what is called a city of fun. <laughs> not to sell a southern wood. Yeah. I, I know I know that you stayed there for a while and then Wabaleka are quick. Yeah. But how was that transition like for you? It was it was it was it was okay because I had I had like I said a former player of mine that went there first. So Matros Bulelani Matros. Bulelan, was yes, there. yes, yes, yes. So I was I always know. following him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was he was taking care of me. I yeah. was for training I would be early because he's early. So I will always yeah. um, follow his footsteps and uh, that that may be a better person and uh, he knows uh, I will always be indebted to him in in, in in the opportunity because for me to go to pushbacks, it was him who, who called me to say there are trials coming through at pushbacks at the States. And um, I made sure I go to Montino, where, he, where he's from. And I spent a week there training before I went for trials at yeah. uh, East London. So when I got to East London, accommodation, stayed with him at the clubhouse while I was, I was, I was going through the trials. And uh, yeah. Um, 700 trialists. Yeah. They take two. Only two. What is the difference between yourself and the 698 that's there? I think when, when, you, when you go to, to trials, you, you try to, to get a job, basically. That's what you're trying to do. And if you see that these pushbacks got good midfielders and you are coming for a job as a midfielder, you will take another opportunity to see where is pushbacks lacking and um, I like I said I was playing number 10 when I was at the amateur level yes but when I got to pushbacks I was going to play as a midfield but when I saw it during the trials that there's not many defenders at, um, at the senior team of pushbacks my friend Sebong and Gose won't Mofo. believe that he played number 10 <laughs> I think I'll, I need to have a you discussion must, you must talk to him and ask him how do I read his reverse <laughs> passing game sure so when I got there, I realized that there is no, it was the captain Mbofu, Sambu, uh, Pumlani Mama, who were playing center backs for, yeah. for. So those were all men marking defenders. Yes. So, but my, my, my body size was not conducive for, for a center back. But still, I said, okay, I can read the game. Why not just trial here as a center back? Yeah. So I, I trialed as a center back, and Prof Nkubane back then was like, yeah, you are trialing as a center back, but I can use you as a right back. Um, okay. And then I was like, okay, sharp. Then he, he took me in uh, because they had enough. They had so um, Mazibugo, mm. uh, they had uh, Ninja, they had Ninja Tando, Gomini, they, they had midfielders. They had, I mean, Jonathan. This is, is like 2002? 2003. 2003. 2004. 2004. 2004. Okay, 2004, yes. Yeah, I think 2003, 2004. So they had good defenders, um, midfielders, so, but lacking in, 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 in defense. Because even the strikers were good. I mean, they had uh, Mbambo from Chiefs. Yes, 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 yes. Um, they, had, they had good, good, um, 
strikers as well. So if you are a striker, you would want to change position and be a winger because you see that they have good strikers. Yeah. But that was that was my trick when I got there. I just decided, no, where is the, where are they lacking? Then I took that chance. When you're signing your contract, your first contract, <laughs> who are you with? Signing my first contract, I was, I was alone. Are you looking at the figures or you think about the opportunity? I'm thinking about the opportunity. At Bush Box, I was earning 6, 6K yeah. uh, back then. Signing on feet? Well, I still haven't received it. Okay. That's a topic for analysis. <laughs> but All right. yeah. yeah, but I was earning 6K before tax. But you play your best football and, you know, um, talking to a few of the guys, they say that game at Absa against Orlando Paris. <laughs> Do you have a point to prove they could die my Oganye? Oganye, he is not. It's a keeper. Uh, yeah, that, that... Where are you playing that game? Are you, are you playing that, as a right back or are you playing as a midfielder? That game, um, I was playing as a, as a sweeper, as a, as a number five. Yeah. Uh, I had Mbofu and, and Sambo defending for me. Yes. No, no, no. Pumlani Mame and, and, and Sambo defending for me. So I was sweeping behind them. So anything that was going loose, I was the one who's going to collect it. Um, hence, when the keeper goes out, I'll be the first one to go cover the keeper as well. So I was, I was a sweeper for the, for the defenders and for the keeper. So... Elena yeah, tells me way. that it's probably the <laughs> best football game you've he have seen you play. Yeah, it, it, it when was... you're on top of your game. Uh, it was my first game against Pirates um, as a professional. I mean. um, and um, I was supporting Pirates. Yeah. So I think God decided let 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 me have my, my best game against my the team that I support. And the likes of so <laughs> what, what, whatever they were trying yes. to bring in, I could read before it happened. Great. Your 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 stay at Bushbox, of course, you you had parrots again. Mm. Um, that was yeah. for the league. Eh? Join us back stay now. Yeah, that was for the league. I think they 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 thought they they had it, you know, um, and we wanted to survive and yeah and. They lost the league, and it was sad for, for, for me, and I was happy as well at the same time. Yeah. And then you, 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 you move from Bushbacks. How, how big of a disappointment was for that team to be relegated? Big, huge, huge for the province, um, huge for, for Buffalo City itself, um, and... Um, yeah, we, we, you could tell that there was a dark cloud after, after that because um, we, we were relegated before we were relegated, I feel. Uh, the fighting inside the team in terms of directors, it, 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 it went on to, to, to touch the guys as well. To, 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 we could feel it, that things were not okay. I remember I was called up for Bafana Bafana back then. Mm. And... Um, and the boss said, no, you can't go because we are trying to win promotion, uh, to, to, to fight the location. And, and um, so, yeah, the, the bits of back then was the Bafana coach. They were told that I had a groin injury, which I was playing. So my injury was something that it was, it was just a strain. So I felt disappointed that I couldn't make the Bafana team back then. So, but. But there was already things that were happening for us before we could we could we could be relegated. Um, when we were we managed to to stay and be fifteenth and go and play the playoffs. Um, but even in our first game in the playoffs against Vasco da Gama, we we lost at home because already we we've heard things about, about the club yeah. going this way that way. So players were not you were trying to play for yourself, trying to win yourself a contract. Players were like on their own, doing their own things. And it was, it was tough. So people that got really hurt, it was, it was the supporters. Every dark cloud has a silver lining. <sighs> you have sundowns, you have 
Mars back yeah and you choose to go to super sport yeah, why parrots as well yeah and parrots um, I, I i i called my my brother my brother set me down my brother set me down and said what do you want um and i was like i want to grow my football and needs to grow and uh, and he said where do you see yourself growing your football then then i started thinking okay then pizza came up in terms of how is super sport playing do you want to play under pizza because he's just called you for the national team so and uh, maybe saw something in you and then i was like yeah i think there they had smusi somahlangu then clayt crunchy and all yeah. my age kind of players and i was like yeah they i can i can fit in and and the game that they played uh suits your style suits my style you you turn down your favorite team orlando pirates and the big team sundowns yeah to join super sport united yeah. pizzo leaves and you win three league titles yeah. um which one do you regard as your best i think i think the first one uh they are all have different meanings but the first one was we 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 knew the goal and we we stuck to it um hence we went on you know everything favored us even if uh ix were to we in opportunity to to win it yeah. and they went on to lose against golden arrows um on the last day and we lost to to celtics yeah. but we still won the league uh because we we had put so much into that season um i think we 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 had lost so many players who wanted to prove think tech or left um bella we had lots of players leaving because kevin just took over and he wanted to 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 change the team and um because some players were were didn't like the way uh kevin style was then that changed everything again you turned down kaiser chief <laughs> i'm sitting in natural and the lindy you know <laughs> and then you signed an extension with super sport yeah we had good meetings with with mr bobby bobby mitaung um and um, the chairman you know giving him instructions to get me to naturena i remember doc telling me of the role that i'm going to play for kaiser chiefs and speaking to the legend i mean dr kumalo you you want to really but but speaking to stan matthews and stan matthews says to me you know if if we can't pay you what chiefs is going to pay you um it's really a great opportunity for you and we won't stand in your way but if you want life after football then stay i will look after you because we still need you and came back home called the parents brother again decide no let's stay at super sport because really um that contract with chiefs was was a good contract three year contract uh but uh the what contract... was more difficult to turn down case achieves or to stay no it was easy to stay it okay. was more difficult to leave you know and turning down case achieves it was it was not it was not about them they i'm sure they never took it personally probably when i when we spoke we were like okay no i'm deciding to stay and then um with my own reasons of course and he understood man trophies kept on coming how do you sum up your your career in football any regrets um no 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 regrets at all i mean i remember playing we're talking about it today with the physio uh playing uh I think 2013 when uh, Kevin was the coach uh, playing in the Telkom Cup George Maleka was still playing for us um injured my knee during a quarter final and i was supposed to come out but the subs were done mm. so i stayed on the pitch for another 30 minutes ended up going for an operation but yes it was um, a decision that i took for myself that i'm not going to i don't want to let the team down it was 1-1 going to extra time and if they are 1 men down then 
things will change, but no regrets at all. We ended up winning that game, going on, and I and, um, think losing in the semi-finals. Yes, and then um, your Bafana Bafana career, any regrets there? Do you think you should have played more games? Not at all. Um, I, was, um, I was an okay player. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, players that were being selected, competition back then was, was good. And um, I feel players were being selected on merit. And as much as we were winning the league, we had our back four in the Wafana Wafana uh, squad. We had Katza, we had Morgan, we had um, Bongani Kumalo. And I mean, we wanted to take the right back as well. Me, no, but we had, we had, we had other players that were doing well at other teams. So no regrets. I think Bafana Wafana's time was, it came at the right time. Um, and um, I enjoyed the caps that I had. Lastly, um, the transition from a player to an ambassador now, it seems like it is smooth for Wena. Um, Njal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the culture of the team. I think it's, it's just, you know, when, when you were a team for so long, you want to, you don't, you don't get lost anywhere, even if they were to take me to the office now and be and work in the office, I think it will still be that same engine moving with the coach, with you know, people that are on the pitch, me on in the office and um we we know what legacy Thomas Madihahe left behind and we are still pushing with that legacy. Everyone still you will not hear of a super sport player on the front page of, of a newspaper and that's that's the that's the culture of the team. TS Foundation? Uh, doing good things. We we looking forward to this month. This month is, is, is a transport month. So we're gonna do some awareness in terms of um, people keeping safe, um, driving safe and also pedestrians in terms of walking around um, on the roads. And of, of course, drinking and driving, um, and um, looking forward to to December when we do our Christmas um, events. Tabo Chris September. Christopher. Thank you very much, my man, for joining us. Thank you for inspiring us. Um, thank you for your humility. Um, there was no doubt, even when we started your career, that you are going to be a winner and a leader. Thank you very much for your contribution and thank you for joining us here at Lutando Zibego TV. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you don't miss any of our content. Man? Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you to our production team and everyone who's supporting us. We love you. Thank you.